Hello again, it's Jimmy here. The Royalties have here a Ford S Max. It's got a DPF issue. Now the problem is, is I've cleaned the DPF on this a few weeks ago, and it was all fine, but the lights back on. So we're gonna have a look at what's going on. Okay, we don't currently have any lights on here, but he did send me a picture of uh, an engine malfunction warning that came up. So we've got the image here. This is what he sent me: engine malfunction. So we'll get it plugged in and see what's going on. Okay, I'm going to use this tool again, Tinkscan 689BT from Tinkcar. Okay, we'll do a search and see what's going on with this car this time. Um, last time we had a block DPF and it was caused by incorrect conditions for regeneration which we found to be the thermostat wouldn't go above 60 degrees. So we replaced the thermostat a few weeks, a few weeks ago, it's been okay since, but obviously we've got an engine malfunction light back on. so. Do a scan and see what the code was that we had here. There is automatic search. The Ford Galaxy 2.2 Euro 5. So it didn't flag up as a DPF error but just an engine malfunction, so it could be anything really. Almost there. It's a little bit slower than my launch short tab three, but it's quite a cheaper tool. This one. I will put the link in the video description where you can buy this tool from. It's under five hundred pound. It comes with lifetime updates for free, and I've got a ten percent discount code for it. Okay, we're finished doing the scan. We have exhaust after treatment glow plug circuit open. Okay, well there's probably no point going into any of the live data, I know what that's going to be, there's a, a glow plug down on the exhaust system, we'll have to go in and have a look at that. Uh, we'll just check the condition of the DPF while we're here I suppose. Uh, don't have the differential pressure which is weird. Pressure voltage. Yeah, we're getting there again. Uh, let's have a look, see if we've got it under delta pressure. No. No, we, ha we haven't got it listed here for some reason. Okay, we're going to go underneath the car and we'll have a look at what's going on. So I've got a replacement part here. This is where the glow plug goes into the vaporizer. Uh, you've got a fuel line here and a glow plug power supply. And the earth is just done from the body of the of the unit. But we'll get the old one off and have a look at it. Okay, under the vehicle we've just loosened out these bolts. We just turned that to the side. And up there we should have a vaporizer. There it is. Okay, so a way of testing these is like you can do a continuity test. There's loads of different tests you can do on the glow plug, but we should have a beep there, basically on this, just like that. You can see when we test the new one, it does that. Then we can check the voltage coming into the vaporizer here. Check that on the multimeter. Okay, so we can see we we had 10 volts down there, which is strange. But um, if we test this fuse right here, we can see that that's blown. See, see if we test one side, we have 12 volts, and then test the other side, we don't have anything. Pull that fuse out, you can see it's blown, that's fuse 6 for the vaporizer glow plug. So normally what happens is that will blow when you get a bad vaporizer basically. So we're going to put a new fuse in that. Okay, back in the car we clear the fault code, make sure that it hasn't returned. We'll now take it on a test drive and we'll keep an eye on this DPF, make sure that everything looks like it's okay. We haven't got a black DPF yet, but it was gonna was gonna get there. Just gonna take the vehicle on a drive, let's make sure these numbers come down. So on this particular tool there's a couple of items missing that I'm 
I'm trying to look for. So we're gonna get out a different tool here. This is the Maxicom MK900 BT. I do get asked quite a lot which tool do I prefer, this one or the Autel MK900. It depends on what car you're, you're working on. As you can see here now, we've got don't have a lot of we've got a few missing items that we're looking for on there. So usually, if they're missing from one, they're available on the other. So we'll go in on this tool, and hopefully we've got what we're looking for on here. Okay, so no, we don't have the differential pressure on this one either, which is, um, yeah, nine. Another thing we're missing on this one was the vaporizer prime, but we don't have that here either, by the looks of it. Uh, let's go back to, we've tried hot functions, let's try service. Sometimes you just get in through a different menu and you can find what you're looking for. No, I didn't mean to press that. Let's cancel. No, so neither of the tools are able to do that on this particular car for some reason. Okay. Okay, we have 31% on it. Um, that should just go down as it takes its journey home. Um, unfortunately we can't read the live data that we're looking for and we can't find the option to prime up the vaporizer but it's not really needed that will prime up on its own but the important thing is we have no fault code now yeah, so the weird thing about this car is I've done loads of these exact models with these both of these scan tools and we were able to read live, da live data for differential pressure and also use the priming function for the replacement vaporizer but for some reason both scan tools haven't got it for this car um, I've seen this on the Renault traffics where you plug one in and you can't read a certain item and then you plug it into the identical car next to it and you can get the information there I don't know why that is but some models just seem to be different um, okay so we've got a new vaporizer fitted our um, short circuit to the glow plug has now been fixed so we should um, we should be all good to go Okay, so that's it. We'll see you on our next video.